Eight nil to Newcastle United. It feels as silly today as it did yesterday. I'm Alex Charlotte. Is here with me also to revel and talk to you, specifically you, about how unbelievably class Newcastle United are once again, Charlotte. I can't swear because the first 15 seconds has to be monetizable, but you can. Yeah, I can because it's been like 30 seconds or something and we are fucking class. There's been some Sheffield. doubters. There's been some what? doubters, Charlotte. There's been some doubters. There have been some doubters. And, you know, Sheffield weren't good yesterday, it has to be said. They weren't very good yesterday at the time of recording. You can hear that I celebrated eight goals because that's what's happened to my voice. But they weren't eight nil, but like Sheffield aren't an eight nil bad side, right? So anybody saying, well, it's it's the quality of the opposition can get stuffed because it's not about it's not about like Sheffield United being a recently promoted side. It's about the nature of the demolition by the class lads. Yeah, and it could have been twenty. So it you know, been 20. <laughs> there are positives. For Sheffield United to take out of this one. Not that this is a video for Sheffield United fans, if even they have any fans left. After what happened yesterday. But Charlotte, it is it is nice to be back on the bandwagon. It is nice to be doing these videos safe in the knowledge that our lads are better than their lads, our fans are better than their fans, our city is better than their city, because you can you can you can, you know, subtract all of those victories from just football. You know, that's how life works. Extract. Things are much extract. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to bring maths into it. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're tired. I'm tired. Charlotte, you might we are really tired. tired. <laughs> but yeah, we, we are absolutely fucking class again. If there's anyone who, who doubts it, well, did your team win 8-0 at the weekend? I guess not because I... I know, didn't sc- see another 8-0 on yeah, the scores. scanned the football board. results briefly and didn't see another 8 and a nil, because if it was 8-4, that wouldn't be as good. Charlotte, the, the, the day after, you know, uh, any any further recollections, any further feelings? Or was it all just the fact that we're class, they're not, and life is good? Those are the sort of key things that you would distill it into. I went on Five Live to talk about it today, and they had a Sheffield United supporter on, who I have to say was an incredibly gracious, nice-sounding man called Hal. And he said, you know, Sheffield did have a chance. And if they had taken that chance and managed to convert it, the game could have ended up (laughs) 8-1. And I thought that was really funny because he was really like, we we basically didn't come out of the tunnel after half time. We were rubbish. It was terrible. I've never seen us roll over like that. It was just a really bad performance. He was very, very, uh, like, not at all like, well, the decisions didn't go our way. And if this had happened, he was like, it could have been 8-1, <laughs> but it would still would have been 8. Very gracious of him. He's not here, so that's that's all right. You can you can Google 5 Live if you want to listen to Charlotte's gracious Sheffield United foe uh, admit they got absolutely demolished by Newcastle United, who are class. Charlotte, this is, this is a big week. They're all big weeks when you're class. You've got games constantly. So it feels, I mean, we did go to Milan, so, you know, extra tiredness points for that. But it just feels like you're settling into the rhythm of life being good uh, after a massive 8-0 win. And then there's another game. And then we'll enjoy that, I'm sure. And then there's another one. Games, and then there's games, another one. Games. Good for content. Good for, good for views. Unless the content Usually. goes rapidly downhill in quality because we're all just so tired. No, it is it is great for content, just like every football fan wants. <laughs> <laughs> the important things. That's what matters. It does. It feels like it is relentless, but that is the nature of being class. Um, and we've got the League Cup this week. We've got Burnley this weekend, which hopefully will be another emphatic victory. That one's at St. James's Park as well. And then, of course, PSG at St. James's Park Street after that. So loads to look forward to. Loads of buoyancy in my spirit, as the old saying goes. <laughs> look, we're really tired. <laughs> Off the back of yesterday's game, I said on our preview on Patreon that we needed a big old statement win. We absolutely got that yesterday. The confidence, the vibes in the training ground and the Changing rooms must be impeccable. So Amanda Stavely was there. Amanda Stavely went into the because she got the she got the eighth goal. I think I can't remember. Yeah, they brought her on for um, the last five minutes, and she got the eighth goal. So thank you for that. No, let's not take that away from Isak. That was a great goal. 
yeah so i'm just really excited about all the games that's to come because we're class and it's class and we're, it's going to be really fun tell you what else i am excited about charlotte my friend it's that i was i wasn't next to you yesterday in the UN. i was by myself and you know, i like to be alone like to be alone and the ticket systems changed alone with um, three thousand people yeah and i was really close to bruno gamaris when he celebrated his goal and uh, i got an exclusive with three thousand others and watching millions i am fucking staying charlotte i am fucking I'm staying fucking staying <laughs> My only thought with it, well, my, my main thought is brilliant. You're a really good footballer and I'm glad about that. I'm glad you're staying. And then my other thought was the media team at Newcastle United must be gutted because no doubt they've prepped like quite a lot of content around Bruno signing his contract and probably some kind of animation or some kind of little movie or some kind of something. And then he just was like, I'm staying by the way. Woo! After his goal. <laughs> like um oh he's 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 done it he's yeah done it. first of all i didn't know he was leaving so that's i mean it's it's nice to get good news but then i missed some news because I, I don't think loads of people thought you were off bruno mate but it's fantastic news and to announce it like you did it's novel um like charlotte says it's funny that probably wasn't planned i think you know <laughs> You know, maybe if he'd done one of those tackles that he wins, he was going to announce it then, but he didn't have to make any tackles because the Sheffield United players just fucked off. He did some good nutmegging. Yeah. Um, So maybe he planned at a different point, but he got the goal. It was a lovely goal, by the way. It looks like an easy one, but it's not. Nothing's easy at that level. And yeah, you know, it was just very emotional. And, you know, these days, footballers in this social media content-driven age, they're constantly looking for new ways to announce things and... Fair play to Bruno. He's announced it by swearing at 3,000 people and the watching world. And the watching it's nice. world. I like it. It's nice, Charlotte. He also announced, he also announced he... his baby. Sorry. No, don't be. I am sorry. I interrupted you. He announced his baby. He put that ball very high up his shirt, didn't he? It was like one big boob instead of a, <laughs> instead of a pregnant belly. But, you know, the heat of the moment, he didn't get the exact... I, lo- exactly. I, I love it. Hypercritical. We're football fans, Charlotte. Nothing is good. Everything can be better. We scored eight. We should have scored 20. Callum Wilson, what were you doing? Bruno, sort out your uh, baby. Ball belly. Baby, yeah, your, your, your fake baby ball. Yeah, I don't know, Charlotte. T- tell us what it means. I don't know. I don't know anything. Well, he posted on... So he does that, like, sucking thumb thing. And he did it when he had... Or when his wife was pregnant with Mateo, his um, first baby. And we knew she was pregnant um, again. And um, he did his, you know, put the ball up like a, like a baby bump or slightly too high for a baby bump. And um, and like the thumb sucky thing. And then um, when he got a hold of the picture of that on his social media, he then posted that he'd also, also like to announce the birth of, I think Pietro is his second baby. I, I didn't know she, like, who am, who am I to to chart the progress of this woman's pregnancy but it feels like she only announced that she was pregnant very recently but maybe she was very far along and and blah 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 Uh, it's none of my business until it's my business he's made it my business now but until until then it wasn't so yes so two babies so he was really class do you remember that a lot of people said he was less class because maybe because he's tired because he's got a new baby well fingers crossed the new contract has just balanced negated the new baby (laughs) And all the money. And so he's just going to continue being class. Because he was fucking class yesterday. And we need a lot more of that. Yeah, it has been all week. It's been a great week for Newcastle. Uh, And when Newcastle play well, Bruno tends to play well. That's how important he is to us. And just just, just really happy. Just nice to win 8-0. But also have other good news. Because I always want more. And I got more yesterday. Should we do Charlotte? Hashtag Ask TFTV. Ask TFTV. We need a jingle for that. Hashtag ask TFT. No, maybe not that. Hashtag, hashtag. Well, like hashtag, I said, well, like hashtag, I said. Ask TFT. Ask TFT. Hashtag ask TFTV. No, maybe not that. Small magazine show. You know, you know, never say never. At JS.F. Interesting username, but welcome. He's asked first All of all, usernames kind of, are welcome. Yeah, he's, he's asked, can he, can he ask this question? Because it was on our match reaction video outside of Bramall Lane, which if you haven't watched, if you're new to the channel, please watch it. Uh, he says, what was written on the note Mad Dog handed to Longstaff? I'll leave it at that, Charlotte. Mm, 
lots of hypotheses about this, isn't there? Because Mad Dog got a note to Longstaff, who like opened it. Also, really like how he opened it on the side, like it was like um, uh, cheating in a um, in an exam. It's like you, the world's cameras are on you, so we just open <laughs> just open the note. And a lot of people are hypothesizing that it might just say Jason with one of those <laughs> S's that people um, draw, or maybe a drawing of himself. What do you think? What did you think was on it? I think it said, "Do you like my new hair?" Because Mad Dog had a sort of new quiff situation. It almost looked like he might have a hairband in yesterday. I don't think he did, but it almost looked like. So I think he probably walked into the change room and nobody said anything about it. And he was like, "Nobody's mentioned my hair." And then we were doing really well, so it was like, "Well, we don't really need to change anything in the game." But I would like to know if he likes my hair. So, do you like my new hair? I mean, it's a theory. It's a theory. Um, a viewer yesterday, me and Charlotte got into the ground quite early because that's what you're advised to do these days, home and away, uh, to get in on time. Times are changing. And um, we went down right to the front so Charlotte could get a really, really good close look at Graham Jones. And I looked at Jason Tindall. Mm. Um, so that was nice for us both. Um, good what to am see I? Him. <laughs> Good to see Jonesy. <laughs> ben, who was standing next to me in the song that was going, um, Eddie Howe and Jason Tindall, Ben was just going, and Graham Jones at the end, which is really making me laugh. Because, yeah, he's he's on there. He's part yeah. of it. He's not. But uh, he's there. <laughs> he's there and, and he's good at his job. That'll do for me. Um, he's there. Yeah. Uh, I suppose other theories, uh, you know, if I was trying to get into the mind of Tindall using my own thoughts, it would just be a, a note to Sean Longstaff saying, God, I'm tired. Please try and let Eddie make me go to sleep. He wants us to watch the AC Milan game three more times <laughs> before the morning <laughs> to prepare for PSG because now Eddie Howe is admitting finally for the first time that he does prepare for not just the next fixture. Um, he has to look ahead at more than one game at the time. Or maybe it was like, please, please, Sean, uh, can no one stand in front of me for the team photo? I'm sick of having to, like, on those old team photos where he's like, you know, yeah, have to like, open try his get um, his... mouth really mouth. wide. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe it was just like, tell Cher he's really fit. <laughs> Why is Sean Longstaff the, like, the messenger for this shit? You know, like at school when you pass notes, like, like or like someone fancies Cher. <laughs> like, it's me. Um, maybe it's that. Maybe it's that. Who knows? What do you think it was, viewer? Tell us in the comments. We'd love to hear it. No, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll be back after the Man City Cup game, which hopefully we will also have dominated. Thank you for watching.